you can always keep looking for the next thing, the next better thing. Yeah, sometimes it's good to have that goal to keep grinding and do better. But sometimes you just got to be happy with what you got. Like, so I was sitting there and I had this moment where it was like, wow, like what a life over there. And then I was like, wow, what a life right here. Like, I don't know. And I had this like, I'm happy for y'all and I'm also happy for me. Like, it really is the journey. I don't want to keep rushing to these next milestones and not even be paying attention to what is really going on around me in the life I am living. I feel like I'm finally filming the way I want. I feel like I'm finally living my life the way I want. I feel like I'm sharing and I have a healthier relationship with the internet and social media and scrolling and posting. Like, I'm living my life. This is mine. This is mine, <laughs> okay? Like, what? And I'm actually experiencing it. Y'all, I'm at peace. Oh my gosh. I hope this lasts for a minute. Damn, I miss traveling. I'm so glad I did what I did. If you're asking yourself if you should make the jump, baby jump, you should have been jumped. Anyways, I'm gonna get my laundry and I'm gonna shower. I'm still cramping and stuff, but I feel amazing. I can't believe somebody really just... Actually, I can believe it, but like nobody has to do that for you. You know what I mean? The fact that somebody really made me dinner and we just had the best conversation. Like, what? Those are the connections I live for. What? I'm happy with how I've connected with people. I don't realize everybody's on the same growing journey. Everybody's just trying to experience. Everybody's facing their inner selves and the outer world and everything that's going on. And it's beautiful, for real, for real. Brutal sometimes, but beautiful. Anyways, let me not make these whole vlogs. Y'all know how I do. I'll see y'all. Y'all, these supermarkets have everything, okay? Vibes. Hostels are so cute. Somebody left a free speaker that people can use while they cook in the kitchen. All right, y'all, so this place is great, but just be mindful, outdoor fridge is not the move. Stuff is just dripping. There's like a dead fly and a bunch of, these are bugs, by the way. Oh, another dead fly, we, okay. Oh, there's like four or five. Um. I really don't want to even keep my food in here. There's like a swamp at the bottom of it and it's not refrigerating correctly. So yeah. I just noticed my friend left a wine bottle here and she already left so I don't mind if I do, but we're gonna wash it cause the fridge smells disgusting. So I'm about to first off disinfect the top shelf and I'm gonna put all my food in my little corner. And hopefully because it's closer to the ice part, it'll stay cold properly because I have milk and stuff. And also it'll be far away from the swamp that is at the bottom of that. So, you know, I'm gonna clean it up first. And also it won't have stuff dripping on it because right now, I mean, yeah, the ice is gonna still drip, but it's just too much going on. And I want it far away from the cesspool that is at the bottom of this thing, so. People are very trusting. I don't know if they're just not paying attention, but like I would never, I'm sorry. The fact that people are just leaving their food open in here, I pray they're not eating it because I don't know how you're not sick to your stomach if you are. But yeah, I'm wiping these because it just, it smells bad in here. All right, y'all, so this is my little corner. Your girl has like a week left for real, for real. Oh my gosh, feels like time went so fast. But yeah, I just gotta make it through the week. I got some milk for cereal, got some fruit, got some salami and some yogurts and stuff like that and some juice we're just gonna have to make it work and i'll probably eat out a little bit just because the cost of buying food and then throwing it away is probably gonna be the same as just eating out somewhere cheap so yeah but i got my little corner this is my little fort the things and yeah A beautiful motherfucking day in the neighborhood baby y'all i got news for you i got news my car's paid off yep yep yeah my car is paid off Whew, it's mine i've never had any issues with it nothing you know ever happened she's good she's healthy she's in peak condition and she's paid off baby like oh my goodness i'm so excited my parents also helped me pay it off a bit because they had a little spare change so i'm definitely gonna be paying them that back but oh my goodness i don't have a car bill i don't have rent i just have myself and the money i make and my credit card bills and whatever little you know bills or whatever but like 
Do you know I could finally start saving at 26 years old? I said 27 was gonna be my year. I don't know what it was, but at 26 years old, your girl can finally start stacking properly. Whew, and I'm raising my prices. I'm doubling. For those who know what I do for like my digital nomad work, I'm doubling my prices. I've been being way too nice. Way too nice. People is trying it. They is trying it. I'm sick and tired of it. So I'm doubling all my prices and Either you want it or you don't, it's that simple. Like we're going luxury status. I don't live a life of luxury, but I'm gonna make my prices as such because I'm not gonna struggle to survive anymore and I'm giving up this much of myself. But anyways, that being said, so I wanted to also show y'all that I have been stretching almost every day or every other day. And I wanna let you know like the little stuff you do every day adds up. It's a lot, it's a lot. So if you're making these payments, okay, one day it's gonna pay off, literally. If you are investing in yourself, one day it'll pay off. 